Look at Zaza here with a subtle rub screen to get Clay that open three on Dwight. Make sure he doesn't challenge. The little nuances, Zaza does some very nice things subtly. But the story in the first quarter really was turnovers. We're playing the number one defense in the NBA, and it showed, man. Quick hands, Schroeder, Bazemore, and then Howard anchoring the center. Schroeder and Bazemore may be the quickest backcourt pairing in the league, and they bothered us early, particularly Steph. Ig came in and righted the ship. He had the greatest plus minus of any player in the game. Look at the ball movement. Draymond looked good with the ankle wrapped up. Schroeder bugged Steph all night. He didn't get a lot of clean looks. JaVale with a nice offensive rebound, and Clay glows glass over Dwight. You see Clay here with the heat check. He had 11 in the first quarter and really kept us afloat with all the turnovers. Second quarter, KD hit a pair of these long floaters. Atlanta's defense is so sound in their scheme. There's not a lot of space on the floor for open shots, but when he's hitting these... Oh, God! Now, everybody saw Dwight practicing his jump shot in the offseason. Take a look at this shit. Damn near breaks the backboard, sends us off in transition. So shout out to Dwight for his jumper. And it was good to see Ian Clark back in the corner. Three ball. And he really showed me something on the defensive end. Take a look at this effort on Schroeder, who was shredding Steph, honestly, in the high pick and roll. Clark, I didn't know he was this good of an on-ball defender. He really showed me something. Schroeder did have a good game. And let this be a lesson to all you kids. Don't play with bleach. A little patch ain't coming back, homie. And Ian Clark's really winning me over. I, you know, I love to see the rookie macaw, but at this point, Clark is just the better player, probably. And here's more sneaky Zaza. Hey, continue to check out my videos as I bring you original content. Like it, share it, hit the subscribe. Thanks, y'all. Look at Draymond punking Dwight. Almost forces the turnover. Then a little bit of shit talking, Draymond letting him know you ain't shit. Bitch. And then the third, man, we just, more turnovers really plagued us. This big three by KD finally took the lid off Oracle and gave us a little bit of momentum. You always hear about how championship teams close quarters. Now, Steph, I feel like may have pulled that. KD with the unselfish play to his man Clark. And that got Oracle going, and it was a huge swing going into the fourth. If you remember, I highlighted how well Iguodala was moving the last few games. Take a look at this sequence here to start the fourth quarter. That's Philadelphia Iguodala there behind the back, coast to coast. And now Oracle is roaring. Tries to work the give and go. It works out anyway. And then the two-handed finish. And you got to credit Oracle for really giving us life late in the game where Atlanta was trying to smother us. Like I had said earlier, though, Steph really could not handle Schroeder. And he may be the quickest guard in the league at this point. Just cooked him all over the court. And you can see why Atlanta is so good. You've got these lightning quick guards pressuring the ball and then Dwight anchoring the defense and he was altering shots all night. And here's a great play to tip out by KD, one of his 14 rebounds on the night. And when we get out in transition, there's nobody better. Nice little finger roll scoop finish. And now Atlanta, what do they want? Schroeder ISOed one on one on Dre. And that's just doesn't get any better than that as a defensive player on a guy that quick, isolated. Draymond holds his ground with the sprained ankle, mind you. Now here's Steph getting caught doing a little hero ball here. I did not like this shot from Steph. And like I've pointed out before, bigs play him for the three. When a big switches out on him, he needs to go to the cup. So Atlanta's going to get another shot here. So who do they go to? Schroeder again? Nope, it's Bobblehead Bays. Same side. And the same result, Draymond Green making a strong campaign for Defensive Player of the Year early as he seals the deal for us at Oracle against a tough Hawks team. Now we get a little break back Thursday with our first look at Mike D'Antoni's Rockets. I'm out, y'all.